my name is Carla Pereira, and today I will present PlusChem, a way to get green fuels for profit. In an effort to, to reduce the environmental impact, the use of renewable energy sources is mandatory. In fact, diesel producers have the obligation to bring renewables into diesel. There is an European energy directive that states that in 2020, at least 10% of all transportation fuels must come from renewable sources. Biodiesel have been sold at a premium price. As can be observed here in this figure, biodiesel price has been always higher than the one of diesel. And, as Ruben Eiras from Galp Energia says here, they are looking for new renewables. Diethyl and dibutyl acetals have been spotted as real interesting compounds to be blended into diesel. And why? Because they are renewables, they don't compromise the engine performance, which was already demonstrated with tests performed with two buses during one year, and they even reduce the engine harmful emissions. For instance, if we just, consider, just have 10% of diethyl acetal into diesel, this leads to a reduction of 13% in carbon monoxide, 8% in carbon dioxide, and 21% in particulate matter. So, what is the problem with these compounds? Well, they are available, but at a real high price. The average price for the ethyl acetal is around 35 euros per kilogram. And this is due to the fact that the existing production process requires the use of several reactors and separation units, which represents high energy cost and investment. Therefore, in order to overcome this price limitation, we develop a new production process, where reaction and separation are both combined into a single piece of equipment, the simulated moving bed reactor. This resulted in a simpler process, and at the same time, the integration of reaction and separation gave us significant advantages has 20% savings in capital costs, 50% energy reduction just in the purification step, we are able to achieve 100% conversion, which means that all the reactants are converted into products, against to 50% conversion obtained in the traditional process, and no residues are formed. We obtain a high quality product. And now you may be wondering, how do we make that happen? Well, we implement our process in a well-known technology, the simulated, moving bed the simulated moving bed, which is used in the petrochemical and pharmaceutical industries to perform harsh separations. The simulated moving bed reactor comprises a set of columns, and each one of these columns is packed with a solid. And this is a key factor for this process, because this solid has a double role. He acts as catalyst, helping transforming the reactants into products, but at the same time, he has the ability to separate the products. So, we feed our reactants to the unit, alcohol and acetaldehyde, that in contact with the solid are transformed into products, water and acetal, which are simultaneously separated and recovered into different outlet streams. This process was a real breakthrough. And because of that, we were able to patent the whole system in different countries. Here is a picture of our lab scale unit where we already performed the proof of concept. And because of this process, we were recognized with some, award, some awards, as for instance, the International Chemical Engineering Award for Innovation and Excellence. These awards are like the Oscars of the chemical engineering field. Biodiesel is our main solution. But, the, as you all know, the diesel market is huge. If you just consider the countries that our patent is granted, we reach a total consumption of 298 billion litres. Then, if you consider 7% of this value, which is the current percentage of renewables use, we reach 21 billion litres. Biodiesel is our main competitor. However, our solution presents lower costs reduces even further the exhaust emissions, does not suffer from degradation, does not corrode the engine, and with respect to the process, our technology is flexible, which means that our process is able to transform different raw materials into available products. 
And now, to talk about the financial numbers, I will pass the word to André. Thank you. Thank you, Carla. Now that you are all aware of the potential of our technology, I'll take you through our implementation plan. And actually, we are already uh, ready for the implementation of our plan, uh, pilot unit. This will test uh, the technology at uh, industrial scale. Afterwards, we'll be ready to, to implement one production unit each year, starting the production, the production in the second year. Um, and taking in mind that this is a very capital intensive uh, industry, uh, the total investment needed for, for the total funding needed for this project will be around 35 million euros. Um, here you have our forecast of EBIT and sales. Uh, we expect in the sixth year to have a return of uh, 300, around 300 million euros. And you, you can see that we have some linearity in the, in the development of our um, sales. This is because our, our units are implemented um, in, the, in the refineries. That's why you have this linearity, because everything that you produce we sell. We expect to pay back the investment in 5.3 years uh, with a returned NPV of 294 million euros. This is our team, the post game team, three technologists, three MEAs, uh, and our two mentors. And the post game team uh, has a right mix of science, technology, and management uh, to provide an affordable and greener, greener design. Thank you.